Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This channel is Moina Bass Fishes. I am Jim Moina, professional bass fisherman. In this video, I'm going to talk about my third day of practice here at the 2024 Toyota Series Tournament on, what lake am I on? Smith Lake in Bicolman, Alabama, Jasper, Alabama, that area. Cool lake. So, uh, this is my third day, and I've really been spending a lot of time uh, these first three practice days trying to establish some kind of largemouth pattern. I haven't been exclusive to that, but that's probably been my main focus, and it's really not coming together. I mean, I'm catching some, but uh, they're just, I mean, I caught one a little over three pounds today and that's what you want if you can, you need to bring in all three pounders in this tournament every day if you want to have a shot at winning and i've only caught one three pounder in three days i'm catching you know i can catch a fair number of fish but just not not the right ones um you know i did catch uh i don't know probably like seven large balls today but just the one good one and the rest were um, and there was another one in there was probably a little over two pounds and another one maybe about two and then the rest were like one and a half pounders I'm not even sure what the minimum length is here if that's if it's like a 14 or 15 inch size limit then I don't even think I would have had a limit today maybe you know if you, if you would have mixed in some of the spotted bass then maybe so but it wouldn't have been a big limit it would have been like a nine or ten pound limit which it's not enough out here so and I was thinking you know maybe it's time I just ditched the large mouths because as the weather forecast and the tournament days you know as the tournament days come closer the weather forecast becomes more accurate and it's really gonna look like some really really cold mornings that we're going to be dealing with so any sort of shallow pattern is i mean it's going to get kicked in the ass by the, these really cold overnight temperatures so it, i really i really think like any sort of spawning female potential is just it, it's going to be put on hold they're gonna not the females are gonna they might they might be coming on bed here today or tomorrow or the next day but Tuesday we got the storms coming through and then Wednesday and then it's gonna cool down and then Wednesday night it's really gonna cool down Thursday night it's gonna cool down so that's really gonna put the brakes on any females coming in to spawn you might have some committing you know, like I said before, the Tuesday's weather system, or even during Tuesday's weather system. But by Wednesday, a lot of that will be done, and certainly by Thursday, it, it'll really be done. You probably will just have males on beds at that point, and that's probably about it. You never know, there might be a few stray females, or who knows, but I'm anticipating the females to be hard to come by on spawning beds and the, and, and the spawns really um, I think it's starting to happen here I've been fishing in dirtier water like I said for large mouths and so I can't really see with my eyes spawning beds so but just it it it's it just seems like we're right on the cusp of it the very early stages of it so I think the winner of this tournament is probably going to be on some kind of pre-spawn type pattern or maybe, you know, or if there's a crossover between pre-spawn and post-spawn, something like that. It just doesn't look, to me, it doesn't look like it's going to shape up to be a great spawning event. Plus, there's going to be a lot of wind. There's going to be lots of wind all the way through this, I mean, all, the rest of this week for practice and then for the tournament it's gonna be windy and i know guys are using their forward sonar to fish beds that's um okay
Okay. <laughs> Great. I, I can't. I don't do it that way. I need to learn how to do it that way. But as of now, I'm not skilled at that. So <clears throat> that's not going to be on my radar. So tomorrow I'm probably going to go out and chase some spotted bass. And that's going to be what I'm going to do. Where on this lake did I do that? I don't know. This lake's so huge. It's just incredibly huge lake. It's spread out. It's just it's needly, fingery kind of a lake. Really cool lake. And the wind's not going to be a problem as far as getting around because this lake is uh, it's just so um, broken up that wind wind doesn't really get a chance to build the waves here. But it can it can you know put ripple you know enough ripples and mud lines and all that to uh, disrupt bed fishing for sure. So I don't think this is going to be a great bed fishing tournament. I could be wrong. I haven't been to the super super clear water to actually visually visually look and see what's going on for bedding. So maybe that's what I should do tomorrow. That might be a good idea. You know, fish go down and fish within you know eight miles of the dam that's where the clearest water should be so yeah why don't i do that tomorrow anyways all right that's it for tonight uh thanks for watching over